trend or lasting treatment. The American Chiropractic Association reports that more and more parents are making trips to the chiropractor to help their babies. Joining us now is Dr. Gregory Lee, a local chiropractor who treats many infants on a regular basis. You agree this is something that you see is rising. What are the most common things that parents bring their kids in for? That's a good question. Common presentations into my office would be for ear infections, colicky babies, torticollis, that's when the neck is stuck in one position, mm -hmm. and then digestive issues. So we're talking about reflux and constipation, but it's important to note that chiropractic doesn't treat these conditions, mm -hmm. but it treats the root cause. The main objective of chiropractic is to clear the nervous system of interference so the body can express health. But what gets in the way is stress. So we're talking about physical stress, chemical stress, emotional stress, bombards our body and we get subluxations, which are misalignments in the spine. That irritates the nerves going to organs. Now our body isn't functioning properly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So examples of stress for a baby would be falls and drops and even the birthing process can be a very traumatic process. And it's funny because when you hear the word chiropractor and then you hear the word baby, you're like, oh no, because immediately you get that visual, you're cracking a baby. Right. But that is not the case. There are different techniques. And with you, you're talking about just gentle touches. And I've actually seen this in person. Right. And that's a common question. And the techniques are all modified based on the age, the size, and developmental stage of each patient. The techniques are extremely safe. They're very gentle and they're effective. And the gentle pressure that I use would be analogous to checking the ripeness of a tomato. Yeah, so it's just this, yeah, Very exactly, gentle touch. like a little touch. Um, what are some of the risks that are involved? Are there risks involved, even yeah. with a gentle touch like that? Right, with any form of healthcare, there's always a risk, especially when there's negligence. But with chiropractic, if there's a proper assessment and a competent adjustment delivered, the risks are minimal. Mm -hmm. In chiropractic, the benefits greatly outweigh the risk, but one possible risk could be soreness, kind of like when you start a new exercise program. Mm -hmm. Or you get a massage or, or something like that. Exactly. Um, what kind of evidence is out there that shows that this indeed can help and improve a baby's health? Yeah, there's a lot of evidence now, case studies and research articles that talk about the safety and the effectiveness of chiropractic care on babies. And more can be found at the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association. Okay, and then would you recommend seeing your doctor first before going to a chiropractor and also doing a lot of homework? Uh, when it comes to your baby, I know that's natural for any parent. Of course. Chiropractic is different. It's proactive. It doesn't wait for an issue. But it's, it's about health and it's about lifestyle choices. And for babies, even to get a wellness check, and I would say half my babies that come in are just mm -hmm. for wellness reasons. All right, Dr. Gregory Lee really shedding some insight on this rising trend in chiropractic, yeah. uh, chiropractic care. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.